My name is Edwin. My name is Edwin Cabrero. I was raised in Chicago Southside, Brighton Park neighborhood area. Okay, here you Edwin. No, an area known to be tough and full of violence. As a young boy, I witnessed. As a young boy, I witnessed things kids shouldn't see. I made tough decisions that kids shouldn't make, and oftentimes the wrong decisions. As a young boy growing up in a bad neighborhood without my father present, unfortunately he died when I was only 11. Most of the friends I had at that age were headed in a bad direction and were getting into trouble. I too did some things I shouldn't have trying to be part of the cool crowd. Around that same time, I, st I also started playing basketball for Brighton Park Elementary. I was so excited to be accepted on the team and basketball was everything to me. Mr. Carlos West was my coach. We immediately created a bond and at St. Agnes, that court became my second home. Mr. West was a very efficient coach and made sure to discipline us as a coach should on and off the court. I remember that discipline and appreciate it a lot as I look back now. I learned a lot from it and I still hold on to the things I've learned from him and instill it in my kids now as they are also both really involved in sports. Mr. West was more than a coach. He became a father figure to me. And throughout the years I knew that I could trust him and depend on him whenever I needed. He always made himself available. He helped me get through my father passing and through a lot of other personal stuff I had going on. He was also my fifth grade teacher, but even after fifth grade, I found myself in his classroom after school, right before practices, picking his brain about my personal life. I always felt like I wanted his validation on things, and he always made sure I was satisfied with our conversation before I left. He really made it okay for me to ask for anything. I also remember him seeing things in me that I didn't see in myself. For instance, one time at a practice, he told me to go on the other side of the court to play Julian one-on-one -on -one as the rest of the team ran drills on the other side. In my head, I'm like, why am I playing him one-on-one? -on -one? He's the best player on our team. I don't stand a chance. During that practice, we must have played up to 11 about three or four times. The first game, I got blown out, but because of my passion, I didn't give up. I worked through those games and came closer and closer to winning each time we played. My coach had us do this a few times on different days and I felt like I was figuring out how to score on him more and defend him better. I don't remember ever beating him, but that was all I needed to get my confidence up. You see, I had had a few breakout games before these one-on-ones, but they would come and go. And I really had to be feeling it that night, while other nights I would be off and let the pressure get to me and wouldn't produce for my team. Now I see that coach saw the talent behind the fear and knew exactly how to get it out of me and put that fear behind me. I can't express in words how deeply I appreciate him and I'll never forget all he's done and taught me. He's still remained in contact with me throughout all these years. I'm now 33 years old. I can honestly say that basketball changed the direction of my life and I didn't allow, it didn't allow me to get into trouble. My mother worked a nine to five so me and my little brother Robert were alone after school a lot, but with practice almost every day after school, we were safe until she got home. During that time, I saw a lot of my friends getting into trouble with gangs, and although at the time I didn't realize basketball was saving my life, I do realize it now. Thank you, Mr. West, for your time and 100% commitment, and I look forward to seeing the great things you do with this program.